Hello everyone, welcome to online learning at GSIPUC Mysore. This is Chandana P from the Department of Electronics. This is my second session in front of you people. In the first session, we discussed few topics like different engineering branches available, voice of your seniors, different uh, job opportunities available after your engineering and also the first PUC electronics syllabus. Today, I am using this session to present you the difference between electrical and electronics because few days back many of the students asked me the same question that is the difference between electrical and electronics. In the same session, I will also be giving you some of the tips regarding your PUC days or regarding your college life. So let us get started. So what is this electricals? Electricals is nothing but something related to electricity that is electrical generation, electrical transmission and its distribution. So we are going to generate electricity at some place that has to be transmitted over a longer distance through the conductors and that has to be distributed to each and every area. So electricals is referring to the generation transmission and distribution of this electricity whereas electronics are used in the front of a device or machine that runs with the electricity such as home appliances. Yeah, the home appliances for example uh, washing machine refrigerator or the television all of these home appliances or all of these electronic devices runs with the help of the electricity. So electronics are used in the front of the device which controls that particular electronic devices with the help of what is called as electricity. Both electricals and electronics involve moving electricity around a closed circuit to power useful products or machines. So, these devices electricals or electronics both helps in moving electricity around a given closed circuit to power some of the electronic appliances or some of the own appliances. This is similarity. Coming to the difference, there are a number of differences. Let us see that one by one. First, electricals. and electronics. This electricals is concerned with the study of electricity. So concerned with the study of electricity and the head generation of this electricity, transmission of this electricity and distribution of this electricity. Whereas this electronics is concerned with the science and technology which helps in developing the electronic devices or the home appliances and the head both. So it is the science and technology concerned with the development of those particular home appliances or machines and the now head both. Coming to the second difference, here in electricals, the current changes to another form of energy. Current changes to another form of energy in the sense, what is this current changes to another form of energy in the other? If I am going to consider a tube light, there the current energy is converted into light energy. Coming to fan, current energy is converted into mechanical energy. So, in electricals, current changes to another form of energy that can either be in the form of heat energy, light energy, whatever it is. So, electricals get one the difference current changes to another form of energy. Coming to electronics, these devices manipulate current in such a way that it can do a particular task. These electronic devices manipulate current to do a particular task. So what is this manipulate current to do a particular task? Uh, let us consider an example of uh, doors in a mall. So as soon as a person stands in front of the door, the doors will automatically open by itself and 
it closes automatically by itself. So, there we are going to place the sensor which senses the objects present that is it senses the person who stand in front of the door and it closes or opens the door automatically. So, the current will be manipulated to do a particular task that is to open or close the door automatically. Next uh, difference is these electrical circuits do not have the ability to take decisions, do not have the ability to take decisions, whereas electronics take decisions. So, what is this? If I am going to consider the same example that is the doors in front of a mall, the door will automatically close and open by itself by taking the decision. It takes, it decides whether the person is standing in front of it or not. If a person is standing in front of it, it, uh, it takes the decision to open the door automatically. But here the electricals will not be having the capability to take such kind of decision. The tube light or the ceiling fan can be turned on or off with the help of a switch only. We are going to switch it on or switch it off accordingly those devices will work. But it is not taking any kind of decision by its own. And these electricals will not manipulate the data. These electrical devices will not manipulate the data. Whereas these manipulate the data. Here is manipulate the data. If I am going to consider an example of alarm clock which is set in your mobile phone, you are going to set your mobile alarm to 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock early in the morning. So, the once a ring, I thought, what you are going to do, you are just going to put into the snooze mode and then again you are going to sleep. So, snooze mode and the hell daga, after some more time, again it starts ringing. So, it has manipulated the data by itself as soon as you click that snooze button. So, electronics is having the ability to manipulate the data, whereas electricals is not having such ability to manipulate the data. And these electrical devices are high voltage, high current, high power devices which uses AC only. AC and third alternating current. Whereas these electronic devices uses low voltage, low current, low power with DC. So DC and third direct current. So now, we use electrical devices and the fan or tube light. It needs 230 volts AC. For electrical devices, we need AC whose value of current, voltage and power are very very high compared to electronics which uses DC whose value is very very low. And the last difference is electricals is the study of how electricity is generated, how it is transmitted and how it is distributed. Whereas electronics is nothing but the study of semiconductor devices like diodes, transistor, apart from that the other type of semiconductor devices like MOSFETs, IGBTs. So these are some of the differences what we are going to see between the electricals and electronics. So electricals is the base. So with the help of electricals, all of the electronic devices are going to work. So with the help of electrical devices, we are going to turn on the device, but with the help of electronics, we are going to control that particular device. So these are the basic differences between electricals and electronics, clear? Now let me discuss some of the tips with you before you start your PUC that is your college life. Firstly, the syllabus what you are going to study in your PUC is very much different from what you studied in your high school. So in the first few days of your first PUC, you may feel very uncomfortable because syllabus is different, teachers are different, friends are different and the learning place is also very very different. It takes some time for you to adjust for the new arrangement. So please don't get panic, stay calm and just concentrate on your studies. That is one thing. And uh, sometimes you might also feel these subjects as uh, difficult for you and you might get many of the doubts. So please feel free to clear the doubts with your lecturer. Don't hesitate. You can go and clarify your doubts with your lecturers. So please don't hesitate in asking the doubts or clearing your doubts because this is the base of your career. So please don't neglect, don't hesitate 
ಯಾರು ಏನು ಅನ್ಕೋತಾರೋ ನಾನು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ನಗ್ತಾರೋ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈ ಯೋರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಯೋರ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಿಂದ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋಣ ಅಥವಾ ಸೈನ್ಸಿಂದ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸಿಗೆ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಅನ್ನೋ ಫೀಲಿಂಗು ಕೂಡ ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಈಸಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಐ ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಾಟ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ರೂಲರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಸರು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಆ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಆ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಹೆಸರು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಈವನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಈಸಿ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಬಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಾನು ಕೇಳೋದು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ನೋ ದ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ನಾವು ಯ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಂಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೆಂಟಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಇವತ್ತು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಅಥವಾ ಇವತ್ತು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ದೋಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಬೈ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಯು ಹೋಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಯರ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈ ಯೋರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂಥ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಉಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಲ್ಲ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದೋಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಸಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಯೇಟ್ ಯೋರ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಯೋರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋರ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಿಫೈ ಯೋರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ the next is make a habit of preparing your own notes yes lecturers are going to give you the notes but apart from that if you start preparing your own notes it will give you some idea about what to write and what not to write yavud yavud important points anta bariyo anta capability nimge barutte that will in turn helps you in writing your exams after the lecturer give you the notes compare your notes with the lecturer notes and make a note of whichever points you have missed in your particular notes so by doing this it helps uh in scoring good marks because eshto nimma seniors ide reethi maadkond bandiradrinda avarku thumba help agide hagagi nanu avaru heliddanta tip na nimmu munde ivattu nanu present maartene clear lastly please plan your future i mean to say please fix a goal this is really very very important when i generally ask students about their plans after puc about 90% of the students will not have any idea usually
don't hesitate in asking those questions with your lecturers they are going to always help you anytime so first puc anadanna daivittu neglect maadle beedi because in every competitive exam even this first puc syllabus will be included so je agli athwa regular cet agli neet agli adralo kuda nimge first puc concepts questions kele keltare so hagagi don't neglect this first puc so be very studious from your first puc itself and obviously second puc nalli new studios agirle beku so utilize this covid 19 time for the maximum extent iga already nimge classes upload aagta iradrinda utilize this time in a fruitful way yenen topics na upload maartaro aa topics na allalle odkoli if you are having any doubts you can contact your lecturers through whatsapp groups or through podcast clear so let me conclude this session i hope you have got an idea about the difference between electricals and electronics and uh, i'll also hope that you are going to follow the tips whatever i have given to you to start up with your uh, first puc i'll be coming soon with the new session until then take care bye bye